it's a beautiful day on the homestead. Chickens are out running around. Lee's working on my herb garden. We're doing some race beds with fence around it and uh, fence to keep the dogs out mostly, dogs and deer. And um, got a lot going on. We're working on a lot of stuff. And today I'm also going to be uh, washing down the house. The house has that old weathered look, whoops, that old weathered look that I hate. And um, every few years we take the uh, wood cleaner and clean that off. So I want to show a little before and then I'll show after at the end of this video. And um, we would really, really, really like to possibly put some other siding on this house. We've thought about maybe putting the um, kind of fake log cabin look on it. We just haven't decided for sure what we want to do, and that's kind of expensive. So we're also going to put a um, cover on the front porch there. We're going to put a um, roof over that front porch soon. And, um, but today we're going to, uh, clean that off, use the wood cleaner and clean that off. And Lee is gonna work on my fence and, and gate for my herb garden. And, um, I've got eggs in the incubator. I've got cabbage and bok choy going in the, um, inside. We're going to get that put in the greenhouse next weekend and work on uh, starting some stuff in the greenhouse. We're going to plant onions and radishes and potatoes today. And so Lee has uh, tilled up his garden for that. And uh, just working on lots of things. What are you working on? A gate. What gate? For your herb garden. A gate for my herb garden? Yes. Hey. <laughs> well, shoot. It's going to be a sweet gun, It's going to be a wide gate? Wide gate. Real wide. No wide. way you get anything in there you want to get in there. I can get a big well barrel in there? Big well barrel. Big. Yeah, I'm talking big, big. Lawnmower? Lawnmower, yes. Side by side. Side by side. No, you ain't got no side by side. I could get a side by side so I could drive it through that gate. <laughs> uh, you won't be able to quit work. Oh, uh, okay. No side by side. <laughs> <laughs> the only side by side gonna be in there is gonna be me beside you in there probably working. Okay, there's our new fence. We had the little old fence. It's still inside of there. You can see it inside there. So he started on this new fence and expanded it way on down and took in his strawberry bed. And we're gonna do another strawberry bed beside that. And then when we take out this old fence here, we will uh, put uh, about four. We're thinking about four, maybe more now, at least four raised beds for my herb garden that was just right inside of there. We're gonna clean all that up and uh, do race beds in there. So here's the fence he was working on, or the gate. The fence and the gate. There's my new gate. Yes, show us how it works, Lee. <laughs> <I'll come in. laughs> Yay, I like it, it's nice. Good job, Lee. Good job on the fence and the gate, especially that gate. I love that gate. That's cool. Yeah, that was an accident. Accident? That's how it always goes, huh? Yeah. Always. There's Sky. It was actually an accident. Actually an accident. Yep. Explain your accident. Well, this hair was supposed to have just been right here, and I was only going to put four of them in there on each corner and then put something else in the middle yeah but because it was so long i couldn't get another one to come across here and match up so you made a pattern 
so I decided, heck, I just well, it looks good. It in there like that. Your accident looks good. Usually All right. It does. Yeah, that's just usually how it goes. Accident. A perfect Every accident. <laughs> anyway, so that's our new raised bed garden will be in there. It'll be more than herb garden. I'll have certain vegetables in there and maybe even some flowers here and there and uh, his strawberries. Mm -hmm. And uh, then in the big garden, we will have big crops, bigger crops and crops that we plant more of. Mm -hmm. And we'll show some of that. We're gonna go up in a little bit. So we'll show some of that in a little bit. So here's a view from this direction. There's what we got. And it's just mostly the fence is to keep this one out and the cats out. Hopefully keep deer out. It's, don't know if it's tall enough to keep deer out, but hopefully it'll deter them. Okay, we're up here at the big garden now. Lee has tilled up some more. Uh, he has expanded our garden a good five or s probably six a good five or six feet more. You can see the old stuff over there behind him. Uh, some of that's fixing to come out. He is hilling right now for potatoes. It's time for us to plant uh, onions, potatoes, radishes, and here comes the dog. You can see what happens to the garden. There you go. That's why we're building a fence around my garden. Anyway, <laughs> thank you for the example there, Sky. Um, anyway, Lee is building up um, to put potatoes in, and um, we noticed some of the old garden over there. There is some uh, turnip greens coming back up from last year, and uh, so we're gonna leave that spot and let those turnip greens come up and. Uh, see how they do but a lot of that will be torn out and uh and uh, tilled in tilled under i'm hoeing like Teresa right now you hoeing like me okay i ain't even gonna say nothing i got nothing to say <laughs> oh, chopping because i chop yeah you chop. yeah well Okay, and you can see all the way over here is our old part of our garden. That was uh, peas that needs to come out. That was okra that needs to come out. And here's the turnip greens that are coming back up. And we had tomatoes in between there. You can see our row where we have tomatoes. Here's more turnip greens coming up. So we're going to just let them come on up and harvest them again and then all the way down to here which was uh peppers and tomatoes all that's got to come out and be tilled under and uh so there you go we have really expanded our garden this year and uh, then with our raised beds too we will have lots uh lots of space to raise garden So Lee is leaving plenty of space down between rows to get the tiller down. And um, that's how he weeds the uh, the rows, the aisles in between rows. <laughs> and then he will use his uh, hoe and hoe down the rows I'm a till in between. And he's making his spot now for his onions. There goes the onions in. Onions. Onions. Now what we do is um, we don't worry about getting them too close because every other one, when they come up as green onions, I will pick every other one for to have green onions and then the ones in between, we will uh, let them get big for, for onions. There's peanut. A peanut from last year? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so there's the finished. And uh, this side is dry. Maybe a little bit wet. You can see some dark spots where it might be a little wet still. 
and then over here it's a shadow this is shadow from the tree so it looks dark that's why i wasn't showing that but anyway that's what it looks like uh looks like most of it's dry especially down here there's a few wet spots still but uh it looks so much better i love this look way better than the uh dark uh the dark gray and this is just with a cleaner um, I did not use the more expensive cleaner this time. I found a cheaper one. I'm not sure it done as good of a job as the, um, I think before we had used like the Thompson's wood cleaner. And this was a knockoff brand that was cheaper. Um, don't think it done quite as good of a job, but um, I may go over it again. I still have plenty left. I might go over it again. Uh, we've had to do it about every three years probably needed to do it every two years but we waited three years and it gotten pretty bad so um, anyway that's what it looks like so there's what it looks like after it's all cleaned and dried and um, I like it a whole lot better than that gray weathered look and there it is and so thanks for watching give us a thumbs up comment subscribe and watch us on friday nights at 7 p.m central time for our live show